ever be solved. Frankie Presto. Frankie Presto is a legendary musician who goes from humble beginnings in a small Spanish town to become the greatest guitarist to ever walk the earth. Presto is the fictional star of Mitch Albom's new novel, whose story is told in part by real life musicians, chapter by chapter. It's called The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. We're so pleased to have Mitch Album join us in studio this morning. It's so lovely to meet you. Thank you, it's my pleasure. I have been a lifelong fan. Uh, I, I want to talk about the narrator in this, and I want to start, Mitch, if I can, by just reading a little bit, okay, of passage. Please. Uh, do you think me coy? I am at times. I'm also sweet and calming and dissonant and angry and difficult and simple, as soothing as poured sand, as piercing as a pinprick. I am music, and I'm here for the soul of Frankie Presto. Not all of it, just the rather large part he took from me when he came into this world. Mm. Music mm -hmm. is the narrator. Yeah. How do you even begin to write that? Well, I wanted to write a book about how talents change people's lives and how we affect one another, and so I thought I would write as the talent. And what music explains is that when we're born, at least in this book, before we can even open our eyes, we actually see a wall of brilliant colors. And those colors are all the talents in the human spectrum. And when we clench our fists as little infants for the first time, we're actually taking the talents that appeal to us and that are going to work in our lives. And Frankie Presto comes into the world and takes two big fat fistfuls of music more than anybody's ever had. So he becomes the greatest musician ever. And we follow his life as music comes to sort of his funeral to take back the talent and decides to stay and listen to all the stories about his beloved child. And you actually have real life musicians. We saw this commenting yeah. on your character. We saw Burt Baccarat and Lyle Lovett and Wynton Marsalis and a whole bevy. How did that work? Did you go to them and say, okay, I, I want you to tell me about your experiences and then I'm gonna write in your voice? A little bit. Uh, you know, Frankie Presto ends up having a guitar that has these magic strings and uh, he can change lives with the strings and the strings turn blue and a life changes. So I had this fantastical character and I had this fantastical narrator and I said, well, I better ground it in the real world or it's going to get too far off the planet. So I called a number of musician friends of mine, Darlene Love and Wynton Marsalis and Tony Bennett. These are people I've been fortunate enough to get to know over the years because I, I was a musician before I was a writer. And I said, do you mind if I write as you for a couple pages? And you remember when you were with Frankie Presto. And, and they said? And they said, of course, because as, uh, as I've learned, musicians want to be writers, and writers want to be musicians, and athletes want to be musicians. Everybody wants to be a little bit of what they aren't. And so they let me write in their voices as if they actually encountered Frankie Presto, and it gave it sort of a Forrest Gump kind of feel to the story. You know, he's fictional, but everything else is real. There's a lot of things that you delve into here with this character, but one of them is gift as a burden. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought that was interesting, and I wondered about you and all the success of Maury, uh, Tuesdays with Maury, your first huge, huge book, and then the books after, all wonderful, but was there that burden to make it as good, to make it better, to up it? Well, only from sales points of views, I think, is how they get judged by that. In terms of getting better, I hope to think that I did every time, because you get older and you become a better writer. But uh, more to the point of exactly what you're saying, after Tuesdays with Maury, a lot of people said to me, well, that book changed my life. And I heard that sentence a lot, and I thought, how does a book change your life? You know, and, but I've come to realize, I've gotten older, that people's talents do change other people's lives. You know, every musician was inspired by some musician they saw, and then they said, I want to be like that. I'm a byproduct of a teacher who inspired me. I'm probably only sitting here with you because he was such, so good at that. And everybody sort of has their own talent, whatever it is to inspire other people if they find what it is and practice it truly. So that's really what The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto is about. It's, it's a tour de farce story and it's all over the place with music and all that. But in the end, those blue strings represent your ability to change somebody else as I've been changed by my teacher, as you've probably been influenced by somebody. Uh, and we all have that, those blue string abilities within us. It's amazing. It really is. Mitch Albom's The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. What a pleasure oh, thank you. to meet you. My pleasure. You will find The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto on our iBooks page. Head to iTunes.com slash Canada AM.